Lucha, but he did, and he lost, I think he lasted about a week and a half. Hello West Ham Network, it's Holly. I hope you're all having a great day so far, whatever you may be up to. Today we are going to be chatting about Edson Alvarez. So it's actually his 26th birthday today. So to give you a bit of an overview, we signed him for £35.4 million back in summer when he was 25 years old and he was on a contract until June 2028. Now, he has been a really, really good rice replacement. The main benefit being that he does sit defensively and he fills that position and he's not eager to sort of push up the pitch or do anything like that. So it's a very consistent person to have in that position. So he did an exclusive interview yesterday or it came out kind of some of the comments today with Sky Germany, um, which we're going to be taking a little look at today. So he spoke about his time so far at West Ham. He spoke about interest from other clubs that he has had. And interestingly, he also dropped a little bit of a bombshell, which wasn't ideal. So we're just going to be taking a look through that today and basically taking a look at Alvarez's time so far at West Ham. So he actually started by saying how happy he is in the Premier League. And he also speaks about the importance of getting game time for him. We know this is something that every single player wants to achieve. And he's happy with our start to the season. So he said, I'm very happy about that. I've always said that it was my dream to move to the Premier League. In my opinion, that's where the biggest competition is. West Ham is a great club with wonderful people. For me as a player... It's important to play regularly and get minutes. I'm playing, so I'm happy. In my opinion, we're doing very well in the Premier League so far. So again, it's brilliant to see that he is happy to be playing in the Premier League. It's um, As you'll see, there are some more comments that are going to be coming about what his hopes might be for the future. However, obviously, he wants to play in the Premier League. He's happy here. So it's a good start to the interview. Up next, he then gave us a little bit of an insight, actually, into how Stuyton works and the things that Stuyton's been doing that sound like they're giving a lot of confidence to players that we want to sign. So we obviously gave him assurances of game time, which, as you can see from what he's already said, was a major selling point for him coming to us. He said it was funny because he called me and said, listen, I want you for my new project. You're my first choice. I want to know what you can give to our team he gave me confidence and the opportunity then I said to him Tim if you really want me I'll come then I want to play for West Ham in the Premier League so we knew that this is a major point that we probably haven't really done for players we've signed people with very little strategy and given them absolutely no confidence that they're actually going to be playing for us when they do come over to West Ham however we now seem to be pl like choosing players and bringing them in and introducing them with a plan in place for how we introduce them, when we introduce them and setting up their expectations. So they're not disappointed that they aren't playing. Obviously, we've got the situation with Caduce at the moment where we wonder, was he given these assurances or is he happy with the pace at which he's being introduced? Was this all something that was discussed previously? Um, so yeah, it's interesting to see that obviously Alvarez wants game time and uh, Stuyton was able to promise and commit to that, which is something that we have been committing to and move forward it sounds like it's like it's working very well so then the next one was his speech about Dortmund so he almost went to Dortmund but by the sounds of it they pulled out before West Ham made it more uh, secure so sounds as though he's very happy that he ended up at West Ham he was saying I made the decision with West Ham after the option with Dortmund was no longer there but yes it was very very far with Dortmund so it sounds as though it was close everything was ready but I always think that certain things happen for a certain reason Maybe it just wasn't the right time. I'm very happy at West Ham United now. It was a wonderful transfer. So clearly he is happy at West Ham, which brings us quite nicely onto the strange comments that then concluded the interview. So up next, he actually touched on the potential of a summer move. So this was the more interesting part of the interview for me. It's not ideal, obviously, to have a new signing even mention leaving, even if he said that he's currently happy at West Ham. Um, this comment is kind of a little bit of a flirtatious comment that seems as though it may well get people looking at him. He signed a contract, just to remind you, until June 2028. So he's at the club for a very long time. He said it was a very exciting summer for me. In the last few weeks of the transfer window, I found out about FC Bayern's interest. Anything can happen. I'm always open. But at the moment, I'm really enjoying my time at West Ham. But then he said, I want to play and show people my best qualities, 
But in the summer, you never know what will happen. Not what we wanted to hear at the end of the interview. Um, it is very difficult because obviously he's just joined us. He is playing well and he's signed until June 2028, like I said. So you would hope that he wouldn't be sniffing around for a move elsewhere and you'd hope that he'd be very happy where he is. Um, obviously, he's ambitious. But what can we actually do to keep players like Alvarez and stop them looking elsewhere? I guess one of the things clearly is regular game time. All these players want to be playing and it sounds as though that is something that we're offering him. This does still depend, though, on their form and their performances. If he drops off in form and we stop playing him as a result of that, you don't necessarily want that to be the reason he then goes on a cheap. Um, so there's a lot of things to consider, but we can obviously incentivize good performances and loyalty and things like that um, and build a squad where if you're not necessarily playing every minute of every game it doesn't need to be a bad thing but most importantly which brings me to my point actually about players that sign long-term deals but don't necessarily have the intention to stay long term it's very frustrating in the Premier League because simply put if a player puts their foot down decides that they don't want to play anymore the club is at a loss because you either continue to pay the wages of someone that's going to offer you no value uh, or you have the option to while they're in form, which is usually when players sort of put their foot down and say, I want to go elsewhere, you can sell them on for money and hopefully make a profit or make as little of a loss as possible. But the difficulty is when you're signing players on long term deals, there isn't really anything that it means because essentially the player could turn around six months into a five year deal, um, say that they want to leave and the club don't really have a, a choice unless the club continues to perform at the very highest standard. They can offer competitive money. They can offer all the game time in the world. The player might want to play in a slightly different position, as we saw, for example, with this position where Rice wanted to play further up. And because we didn't want to lose him, we started changing the way that we were playing as a team to facilitate that. Not always a good thing. As we've seen since he's left, the rest of the team have actually performed better because they're not being held back by having to play a certain style of football. So there are a lot of question marks over um, how you can keep a player long term when they have agreed to sign long term, because when they do these five year deals, they get higher wages than if they signed a one or two year deal. So there are a lot of things to consider. And it is very difficult, I think, for clubs that aren't playing at the very, very top level to um, to keep players. But at the same time, we need to be ambitious and we need to make it clear to players that this is a good place to be. And Alvarez has said it in his interview there. He's enjoying playing at West Ham. So that's definitely a positive. But yeah, there we have it. That's uh, Alvarez's latest comments on how he's feeling. But let us know in the comments what your thoughts are. Are you shocked to hear him after essentially less than six months come out and say that, he'd potentially not rule out a move next summer. Because um, for me, it wasn't one that I was thinking could happen. Uh, took me by surprise a little bit. And yeah, it's disappointing when you're trying to build something and then there's just a little bit of uncertainty. Because in my eyes, we want players that want to live and die for West Ham. We want players that are desperate to play week in, week out, and we'll put everything on the line and don't even think about flirting with other clubs because they want to play at West Ham and their focus is on the next game. Um, so yeah, a bit of a frustrating one, but hopefully it was just a passing comment that doesn't materialise into anything next summer. But let us know your thoughts in the comments. Are you disappointed? Are you shocked? Are you not shocked? Um, yeah, let us know. So thank you so much as always for watching. Join me later as well for Hammer's Headlines where we're going to be running through today's top stories and whatever you're up to, have a brilliant day. If you're not already subscribed as well, hit that subscribe button because we don't want you missing out on any of the great content at West Ham Network. We've got loads of brilliant other presenters, so they're far more exciting than me. So that's another plus of subscribing. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up so that we know and we can shape the content to make sure it's the stuff that you like. So thank you so much as always. Have a good one and speak to you soon. Come on, you irons.